Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Hard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them for all your hockey needs in the local Milwaukee area at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today, the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Springfield Thunderbirds, which are the affiliate to the St. Louis Blues, which the Preds play tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Hopefully, we don't have to see Joe Hof Joel Hof Hofer. <laughs> um, the Admirals uh, coming into this were on a two-game skid. Um, and well, that's all I got for that. But anyway, for proper introductions' sake, I'm Daniel Goodwin. That's John Lewandowski. John, take it away. All right. So shots on goal in the first period. Springfield outshot Milwaukee 12 to 5. In the second period, both teams had 10 shots. In the third period, Milwaukee outshot Springfield 14 to 4. And in total, Milwaukee outshot Springfield 29 to 26. Now on the power play, Springfield went 0 for 4 with 4 minutes, 2 infractions. And Milwaukee went 0 for 1 with 12 minutes, 6 infractions. Don't get me started on the infractions. Right. All right. So scoring in the first, nothing. Scoring in the second with Martin Burke. And I said Burke, there is no vowel. FRK. Buy a vowel, please. Uh, <laughs> he scored his 12th of the season with an assist from Matthew Pekka, his fifth. I wonder if that's any relation to the Pekka, the Pekka that played for uh, uh, Ottawa. I don't know. Uh, then they have Hugh Mc. Jin, uh, scoring his eighth with an assist from Steven Jedrick and Griffin Luce. Uh, Jedrick six, Luce is second. Uh, also on the first goal, uh, that was Pekka's fifth assist. Uh, then scoring at the 17.04 mark with Jordan Gross with his fifth. That really did seem to turn the tide. It was scored shorthanded with an assist from Tim Schaller, his eighth, and Zach Sanford, his seventh. That is all. All right. We got to talk about these uh, unsportsmanlike conduct penalties a little bit. Yeah, we do. What in the hell did they do to deserve this treatment from the refs? Right. Yeah, it seemed like an ice tilt most of the game. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, the three stars of the game is wrong, but okay. All right, and that for the uh, Springfield Thunderbirds was Joel Hofer. He stopped twenty eight to twenty nine with one goal against in sixty minutes of work. Yaroslav Vizkarov stopped 24-26 with 58.909 seconds. 58 minutes, 9 seconds of work, two goals against. Um, To be truthfully honest here, um, not the greatest night for uh, that uh, second line D pairing of Statsny and... Uh, Wellsby, they were getting beat all night. And, yeah, they were. You know, you know, some of these guys said that they were you know, a little frustrated with the refs and a little frustrated with being tired and all that. Uh, just from what I could gather, tonight was camera day. Uh, really cool to meet uh, Yarrow. Yarrow's cool. Uh, all the guys are cool. Marcus Derby's funny. Um, uh, you know, Cole Schneider is the vet. He's more of the calm, collected, professional type. Um, uh, who was that? Uh, let's see. Kevin Graval's cool. El Geyser's cool. Roland McEwen's cool. Um, Cooley is cool. Get it? Ha, ha, mm -hmm. ha, ha. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, we... All right. So minus the penalties that were not helpful. 
especially the three called back to back to back. Right. Which was a legit ice tilt. Um, I'm not sure at what point do you also look at the defensive structure of this team and go, uh, right. You might need someone to come in, a, a, another defenseman, like we did last year. Right, I think so. Like a Biega type that, that has that veteran <laughs> experience because we are a young team. Yeah, we are. Our forward core, not so much. But our defense is very young. There's a lot of rookies in there. And, you know, with Yarrow and Net, you need somebody who's going to be able to be defensively um, sound. Right. All righty. So coming up. Uh, for the Preds, like I said, is the Blues. The Blues, tomorrow, uh, in their last five, Pavel Buchnevich has four points. Uh, he leads the team. Uh, uh, Jordan Cairo has three assists in his last five. Uh, Pavel Buchnevich has four goals. And uh, Cam Brozen has his has a plus three. In the last five games, Colton Sissons has a plus four. Romy Dossi, two goals. Uh, Matt Duchesne, four assists. And Yusuf Par- Parson in Five points. Goalie comparison. Used to start us with a 16 12 and 5 record with a 2.68 goals against average with a 0.921 save percentage and one shutout. On the flip side, Jordan Bingington with 17 games, 17 wins, 14 losses, three, three overtime losses with a 3.21 goals against average and a 0.9 or a 0.894 save percentage with two shutouts. Backup goaltenders uh, for Nashville is Kevin Lankin. He is 5-4-1 with a 2.64 goals against average with a .924 save percentage. <laughs> On the flip side of that, for the backup goaltender for St. Louis is Tomas Grice. He has five wins, six losses with 3.22 goals against average with a .912 save percentage and one shutout. On the power play, the Predators are 29th in the league compared to the Blues 13th in the league. They really need to stay out of the box. However, on the flip side, the Preds are 14th in the league on penalty kill, and the Blues are 28th at 73.2%, where the Preds are at 80%. On the face-off circle, the Preds are better at 52.3 to 50%. Um, goals for versus goals. Uh, goals for per game is 2.73 for the Preds and 3.07 for the Blues. Uh, goals against is 2.89 for the Preds, which is 14th best in the league. Uh, the Blues are 25th best at 3.53 goals against per game. And the, la- the last meeting was against the Blues. The Preds lose in overtime 1-0. Um, I will take that if that happens again. Sadly. Right. Like a 1-0 loss in overtime or a shootout, that means you played phenomenal. You just right. Um, and in the first meeting, the Preds blew them out of the water with a 6-2 to two win. That was back on October 27th. The last time we saw them was December 12th, almost over, or just over a month ago. Head coach for St. Louis is Craig Berube. Uh Top goal scorer for them is Jordan Cairo with 20. He has 20 goals, 22 assists, and 42 points. That actually leads the team in all statistic categories. Actually, no, Robert Thomas has 29 assists. And Brady Shedd has 23. Okay. Uh, names to know. Steven Santini, he is uh, wears number 36 for them and is currently called up. Um, like I said, we will see what happens going forward. Um, Michael McCarron is on waivers. We will know more tomorrow, probably around noon to one o'clock. Um, so if you see a transaction graphic from us around that time, um, we'll let you know what happened. Right. Um, we wish, uh, Big Mac the best. And we can't wait to see him in an ads jersey. I'd like to thank the Admirals for tonight's opportunity to beat the team. Um, in this setting for the first time since COVID, it's it's 
first time in three years. It's it was wonderful to be back out there. I wish the crowd was better. Um, we did not get the greatest crowd tonight. Um, I it, it's it's not necessarily their fault. I don't think I think the weather played a lot into it. It's been kind yeah. of rainy slash sleet, and the roads are slick. So, um, to everyone, please be safe and. Thank you Dope, for watching. I'm Daniel Goodman, over there's John Lewandowski, and we will see you tomorrow with the Preds versus the Blues.